All right, so I'm not gonna go too much into introduction. If you guys know, you guys know already. Let's just kind of get straight into this. Again, from last video, I'm, I'm kind of in a time crunch right now. I gotta work tonight, believe it or not, in a couple of hours to be exact, roughly, give or take roughly uh, four more hours, three, um, six more hours maybe. So we're gonna try to do this a uh, quick video today, not too much going on. Okay, so let me just kind of chillax, compose myself a little bit. I was able to take a picture today. Would be, right? But this one, again, we're, we're kind of following along with with car photography in this case. However, this one is ra rather interesting for me, specific, well, to me, right? Because, well, from the back, you, got, you guys kind of can't see it, right? But from the front, this looks like a very old, like antique, like almost ancient design Chevy. Now, if we're basing this off of the license plate, it says 58 Chevy, which my guess would be that this is a 58 old, pickup truck from Chevy that they made back in the day so you know rather really I, I saw it I saw it when I was driving around I decided to take a photo of it and I decided you know what that's gonna be my video for today so not again not too much gonna happen today as far as with you know the usual we may do a, a, a light mask today but again since I'm kind of in a time crunch, um, that's got to have to, that's got to be pending. Although, if, if I'm being honest, I don't want, just because I'm in a time crunch right now, I don't want this photo to be kind of lackluster, right? So I'm trying to make it interesting, but at the same time, trying to keep it short because, again, I can't, I can't do my, I can't take my usual time, right, as far as with these photos. But like I've stated, I don't think, much is going to be happening, which should be good now. Believe it or not, before we go any further, I'm actually going to crop this just a, just a little bit. Hey, believe it or not, if we just were to pull this up, maybe just a little bit. I want to get the Chevrolet logo kind of right smack in the middle. Probably something like that. How will that look like? Okay, I think that's gonna have to be the best. Although what I could do is I could just crop it just for the Chevrolet, but I, I kind of want the whole truck to appear in the um, in the photo, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So as far as with, believe it or not, as far as with the place that I actually visited today, because I'm constantly moving around in my job, uh, I, I, I gotta say, for possible, future videos it's uh it might be a it might be a good one and when i mean by a good one i mean it might be a, a nice photo shoot as far as with taking photos um or future photos really and believe it or not i was in the balance between this one or another photo that i took also today so personally for me as i say it right i think there's going to be some pretty interesting photos coming your way hopefully soon right i mean i can only imagine right but again I, I i gotta make i gotta find a way to make them interesting no okay i kind of cut off a little bit because i'm just seeing well, what changed maybe just a more increase on the highlights or i'm sorry on the okay i think that makes it a little bit better yeah there, there was a, I kind of stopped for a second because I needed to see that. I saw something weird and to believe it or not, if I were to hide the changes that I made on the tone curve beforehand, I, I would have preferred to have no changes done with the tone curve. So I kind of adjusted, what is this, the, the shadows? And I think we should be good now. Yeah, I personally like it, so we'll leave it like that. Now, it took some time while work, while analyzing, well, while I was driving around, I took some time to really think about as far as, you know, what, what my goal is with these videos, as far as, you know, with me, quote unquote, saying that I'm going to make this more interesting, right? I guess my trouble or my challenge that I have so far is that, you know, 
considering the fact that my 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 job is really kind of inconsistent as far as with hours like just for example today i i gotta work later today right but i don't know maybe i, I was really looking at it i was really kind of analyzing and believe it or not i also spent some time with uh, on instagram just seeing what other people as far as with photography what do they post and what type of photos they take i don't know i i really and i, I to be honest i don't even have an answer right now I, I really don't but as far as with taking photos you know making them more interesting i don't know maybe i just need to dial it down make it more simplistic make it more simpler not go over the top and maybe also with editing as well because you know again like i've stated is it is it going to be very interesting for you guys to look at a guy like me moving around some sliders for roughly 30 minutes questionable right again I, to be honest i don't even know what i'm really saying right now but all the gist of it is that i i gotta really more think about as far as you know what 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 is my what am i trying to accomplish with you know with these videos and more specifically what type of photos i'm editing because i've i'd like to you know once in a while just tend to look on my instagram you know when i've published these photos i like to just tend to look at my instagram and just to see you know what what, what changes or what's a common theme i'm seeing and you know what can I do differently, right? And and more specifically, what can I do to improve, and what can I do to make to make my not so much as my Instagram page, but at the same time, yes. But more specifically, more towards my YouTube channel, how to make the behind the scenes as far as with the 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 process of hopefully taking the photo like i've stated that's going to be something i'm going to be doing hopefully in the near future i was going to do it today with an opportunity i saw early this morning but again at that at that time i kind of had also two of a time crunch so i didn't take the opportunity and believe it or not i should have done it here but i'll just for the gist of it i was in my truck so it wasn't really not much to begin with but like as i was saying I need to really think about, maybe sit down and really just think to myself, you know, well, where am I going to go with this, with this YouTube channel, right? Now, to be honest, I, again, I don't know, because like I've stated, I don't even have an answer, right? It's just something that I, that I noticed today or that I've caught on. I don't know, maybe I needed to... I guess in some way, shape, or form, I need to go back to the drawing board as far as with this YouTube channel. I mean, in no essence is this like a, a video of me quitting, right? Again, like I've stated, this is something that I do want to continue on. Hell, if it's not even for the income, it's for the fucking hobby, right? A hobby that I, I want to do on, on, what's it called? Uh, on my free time, right? Now, if by any chance this does become my source of revenue then you know I, I can't complain there i really can't complain there so again as far as did, I, I, did you guys understand that I, i'm not sure but it's just something that i've noticed that as far as with these videos again i'm probably going to go more in depth in my next analysis video which believe it or not it may be in day 30 as i more look at it but uh, again I, I would definitely need it I would definitely definitely need to sit down sit down and really analyze kind of think about you know what's what's going to be the status or what's going to be my next approach with this youtube thing so now that we got that out of the way i've kind of already done some changes with global um shadows i'm right now currently on midtones now as far as with these midtones i don't see much of a change i mean we're just affecting mostly the 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 garage and kind of the sidewalk really so that's really the only changes i see now i i really wish this this truck was out on the street instead of facing inwards towards the garage because man i tell you what if you guys would have had the opportunity to to look at this car from the front it would uh, that's what really caught my eye was from the front the back yeah 
not so much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still pretty nice, right? But it was mostly the it was mostly the front that really caught my eye. So as unfortunate as it may be, uh, I guess it is it is what it is. Now, maybe with my approach with this, maybe I'm trying to make this like a film style photo. The ones that you get from those antique film, like a Polaroid in a way. Now granted, I've, I've, I've had attempts with that in the past. Have, can I say that they've gone good? Uh, questionable, but I think as far as for right now, we're, we're getting somewhere, maybe. But that's what, that's currently what I'm trying to do. I'm currently trying to have this as a form of a, uh, of a Polaroid in a way. I don't know. Again, I'm just, it's not that I've looked at a tutorial on how to make these Polaroid style photos or attempted to make them, right? It's just really kind of me, you know, going in blindly, right? As far as with with this style of photography. Now, believe it or not, I think, I think actually I like that. Now, let's just, uh, okay. Have I gotten that Polaroid style into it? Maybe. And you know what, actually, as I look at it, I actually kind of like it, yeah. Although it may, it, you, it may be questionable as far as with more towards the warmer side, kind of towards where like the orange side, orange-ish. But believe it or not, I actually like that. So let's, before we go on to masking, before, okay. Oh, okay, I actually really dig that. Now, I would really need to see if really any masking is necessary with this, right? Because again, kind of like what I've stated last video or a couple videos ago, I can't really remember which one it was, but I need, it's not that I need to utilize all the tools. I just need to utilize the necessary tools for the type of photo I'm editing. But then at the same time, if I don't know what tools are available, then that's another issue, right? But I've already kind of, I've already kind of talked about that. So we're not going to get into it. Believe it or not, I'm going to actually add in a vignette and effect for this because I personally think a vignette and effect would actually make this photo in some way, shape or form more Polaroid-ish. If that's even a word, Polaroid-ish. Just so we can have that vintage look in a way that vintage look right so that's what we're gonna attempt to do right now I'm not gonna overdo it too much although as i look at it if i were to hide it uh yeah maybe this these portions around the car are still kind of overexposed but with the uh, with the vignette in effect i think we should be good with the midpoints believe it or not that's i actually like that so we're gonna Leave it like that. Brownness, again, I'm sure there is a way, I'm very sure there's a way you can do this with masking. And believe it or not, in some Instagram videos that I, I was seeing, I just saw this guy like editing a, a, a car, right? But the way how he edited it, even though it kind of looked kind of simple, man, I tell you, those were, those changes were really good. And so, Again, like I'm saying, that's kind of what I'm kind of pushing towards. I'm kind of make the, making the edit simple, but making the stand out in a way. But again, like I've stated, I, I would really need to sit down and really think about that. With highlights, I, I don't see any changes, believe it or not. So we're just going to leave it like that. You know, believe it or not, I actually really liked how that vignette and effect kind of added to the photo. I really actually like that because, again, if we were to hide it, it was kind of all overexposed in a way, and um, um, mostly the the corners and all around the car. But personally, right now the vignette effect kind of added that vintage look to it, and I'm actually really happy for that. So we'll we'll definitely keep that. Now, like I've stated, you know, actually believe it or not, and it's not because again I'm on a time crunch and I'm trying to keep this short. It's just solely on the fact that I, as I'm actually looking at, at it, I don't think I actually even do need, um, I don't think I actually do need a mask in on this. I mean, again, like I've stated, what, what would I add? 
I would really need to think about what would I add. You know what? Let's just see. If I were to mask it, what would okay, well we would first not get the whole portion, but you know what? We would get we would get some of it. So what what would we do? Let me just expose it a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, so believe it or not, we're just gonna very slightly, just a very subtle increase onto exposure, just keeping it relatively the same. Now with contrast, we're gonna probably just increase it again ever so, ever so subtle. And then with highlights, probably just gonna, again, another subtle increase shadows we're either just going to keep it the same or again just another subtle increase with whites we're going to keep it the same believe it or not we're going to keep it the same with blacks believe it or not it's just a very subtle decrease a very subtle decrease so my histogram is going kind of all over the place but I'd say, okay, we made the truck a little bit exposed and believe it or not, I kind of actually dig that. Although now that I look at it, okay, we would, this portion, uh, I wasn't really much paying attention, but this portion is getting overexposed. So let me actually see I'm I'm going to see if there's a way if I can remove that. I'm sure there is. Let's see here. Okay, so I did that. Believe it or not, instead of instead of trying to erase from the first mask, what I instead did was I instead included um did an entire separate mask just add it in or just try to focus on that portion and then just decrease the exposure again if we were it was before and after although could i have done a little bit better job as far as with the with the brush maybe but believe it or not that's that's all that it really needed so as simple as that was we'll just well let's see Okay, maybe uh, as I was looking at it, maybe just a increase on contrast and I think we should be good now. We're just going to leave it like that. Okay, no more, no more. We don't need anything more. Now, believe it or not, if we were to hide the, the changes we made with the masks, it was before. Ooh, okay, so... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit sweaty. I actually really dig that. Although, well, I was going to say, although some may see that the original was better, I actually really dig that. Now, if we were to do it before and after, it's before. I actually really like that. I wasn't expecting it to, I wasn't expecting for me to like this photo a lot, but I actually really like that. Believe it or not, I am very happy with 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 this photo. That as far as with within car photography, this is probably my favorite of all time. Although is it my best one? Questionable, but as far as with the vignetting and the effects we made and even just making it seem a little bit vintage style, but at the same time not. I actually really, really like that. I was not expecting for me to, to really like that. Wow. Wow. I'm at, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm, I'm just impressed. So believe it or not, yeah, that's, we're just gonna leave it like that. Uh, I don't think there's more changes to be done. Although, is it, uh, although, you know, could there have been more that I've added? Maybe. 
But as far as with masking, again, keeping it simple with just minor tweaks, just mostly increasing everything as far as with exposure, contrast, maybe shadows. And then doing and then adding in that second mask, but mostly just to decrease the exposure to not have that window overexposed than the rest of the car or than the rest of the truck. Believe it or not, I actually really like that. You know, as far as with photography, like as a whole, this actually is relatively close or creeping in as if this is probably my favorite photo I've of all time I've edited. Because like I've said, my favorite so far is the long exposure one. I really liked how that one came out. But I don't, this might be a close second. If not, it's on par with that, with that long exposure because the, I mean, if we take it from the original raw photo that it was just a dull, plain looking photo and then the edited, man, I tell you that those changes, they surprised me. I'm, I'm still in, I'm still in shock. And as far as with cropping, although not much cropping, I'd say that was enough, right? So again, I'm still in a loss of words. Could there be a hint of a little bit too much of over editing? Maybe, maybe, but again, personally, I, I really like that. So yeah, that's gonna conclude the, the video for today. Again, I'm not trying to keep it short because I'm on a time crunch. Although technically I am, but again, I was not expecting me to make these many changes and I don't know however long this video is or is going to turn out to be right. But I say overall, I actually really dig this photo. I, I, and I say that sincerely because like I've stated, I don't know how, I, how true is that with other photos I've edited. But as far as with this one, I really liked how this came out. Sincerely, I, again, it's creeping up to my most favorite photo I've edited. It might be over the long exposure at this point. I don't know, because as I more take it in, I'm telling you, it's it's a close call. But yeah, that other than that, really, I got nothing else to say. So I thank you all for watching. I, I pray that I make this in time for, uh, to continue on the period of, of daily uploading. If not, oh well, if, if, if I've uploaded this late, it is what it is. So but, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.